Welcome to Storytime. My name is Caitlin and today we're at the Port Alberni branch of the Vancouver Island Regional Library. Now before we get started with today's story time, it may be based on what I have on my shirt and what's on my felt board, you can guess what today's theme is. But we're going to begin as we always do with our hello song. So if you're new and you've never done story time with me, so our hello song has a little bit of sign language that goes along with it, but don't worry, I'm going to go through the signs so that we can all sing it together. So, our first sign is hello, and to do that, we're gonna pretend like we're giving a salute. Can you do that with me? Can you pretend like you're giving a salute and sign hello? Perfect. So our next sign is friend. So it's like our two pointer fingers are giving each other a hug twice. So one, two, and that's the sign for friends. When we say it's time, we're gonna point to our wrist like we're wearing a watch and say it's time. And then our final sign to say, our hand is coming out from our chin like this. So all together our signs are, hello, friends, it's time to say. Are you ready to sing with me? All right, let's try it. Hello, friends, hello, friends, hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Good job, everybody. So hello. I hope you're having a wonderful final week of April. Now, as I said before, we did our hello song. We have some hints as to what today's theme is based on what I've got on my shirt and also what you see here on my felt board. Any guesses? That's right. We're doing superheroes. So I've got on my Vision and the Scarlet Witch shirt, and we're going to sing a song later about these superheroes over here. So, I thought if we were doing superheroes, we should probably learn how to become superheroes. Would you like to be a superhero? I think that would be a lot of fun. So, today's book is the Superhero Instruction Manual. And this is written by Christy Dempsey and illustrated by Mark Fearing. And we're sharing this book today with permission from Penguin Random House. So thank you very much for letting us share your book. The Superhero Instruction Manual by Christy Dempsey, illustrated by Mark Fearing. Do you have what it takes to be a hero and save the world? Are your muscles made of elastic? Are your bones made of steel? Anybody got bones made of steel? No, me either. Can you soar through the air with a single leap? Yeah, maybe not so much. Never fear, our one-of-a-kind superhero instruction manual will turn you super in just seven easy steps. So look at that, seven easy steps, and we can become superheroes. Well, let's keep reading and find out how to become a superhero. All right, step one, choose a super name. If you need help, combine your favorite color with your favorite animal. Be the green tiger or the pink python. With two little words, you even sound super. Kapow! Take a minute, think about what your superhero name would be. Your favorite color and your favorite animal. So I guess that would make me the pink cat. Step two, pick a partner. Holy donut hero, you need a sidekick. Choose wisely, and remember, your sidekick will look up to you and hope to become a hero, too. So who would you pick as your sidekick? I don't think he wants to pick his sister. He's going to pick his dog instead. How about you? Who would be your superhero sidekick? Step three, craft a super disguise. So here we have all the parts of an important superhero disguise. We've got our unitard, we've got a mask, boots, very important, and of course, a cape. Are you feeling super yet? Well, we've got a notice here. Legal notice, as a safety precaution, the superhero instruction manual strongly recommends a well-filled fitting helmet as part of your superhero ensemble. The Superhero Instruction Manual maintains no liability implied or otherwise considering the consumer's final decision. 
I think we should follow that. I think we should definitely include a helmet as part of our superhero outfit. All right, step four, secure a super hideout. Every superhero needs a secret lair to plan strategy and prepare to save the world. So we've got our super name, we've got our costume, we've got our sidekick, and now we need a super hideout. So let's see, I don't think a doghouse is a good hideout. It's definitely not behind the couch. Aha, perfect, a tree house. It must be safe from evil villain intruders. Very important. Step five, choose your superhero. Power, you gotta pick a superpower. Superheroes don't just wake up one day with amazing powers. Okay, okay, sometimes a normal human gets a radioactive spider bite and wakes up with super skills, but that's rare. You must work hard to discover your inner boom, bam, pow. Underwater breathing, supersonic speed, vroom, crash. Invisibility, mm, not so invisible. What are these? Mm. Flying it is. Flying is always a good superpower. Would you like to fly? What kind of superpower would you like to have? Maybe invisibility? I think I'd like to fly. Step six, being super requires a lot of power. Be sure to mega size breakfast and remember to stash a snack. Do you think you could eat that many pancakes for breakfast? I don't know, that's a lot of pancakes and then still have room for cookies. Step seven, okay, it's our final step. Save the world. It's time to take action, hero. Show the world what you're made of. Here I am, ready to save the... Wait, Fluffy, no! Oh no. His sidekick ran away. Uh-oh. Look at all of the messes that Fluffy made. He ran through people's picnics and knocked over tables, people off bikes, the garbage cans. Uh-oh. Congratulations, you have now completed the seven steps to becoming a hero. You should feel super. Before long, You'll be surrounded by adoring fans begging for your help. Well, I think they want his help, but not because he's a superhero, because he made a mess. Uh-oh. So be prepared. Sometimes the world needs saving two or three times before lunch. So see his little sister is helping clean up all the messes that Fluffy made, tidying up the tables, trash back away. There are all kinds of heroes, but a true superhero is always there when it counts. So now his sister's a superhero too. Go forth and be super. And that is the end of the superhero instruction manual. So did you learn how to be a superhero? You got your five, seven easy steps? All right, well, I don't think I could be a superhero. I think there's too many steps, but I would like to sing some songs about a superhero. So maybe we'll see if you can help me stop the villain in my song instead. I'm gonna pull over my felt board here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five little superheroes and our villain. So our song goes, five little superheroes flying through the sky. And here comes the villain. Stop that guy. A 
along comes a superhero and off she, he flies up, up, and away. So now how many superheroes are left? That's right, we have four. Four little superheroes flying through the sky. Uh-oh, here comes the villain. Let's stop that guy. Off flies the superhero up through the sky. Up she goes, up, up, and away. Now we've got three. Three little superheroes flying through the sky. Here comes the villain. Stop that guy. Along comes the superhero and flies through the sky. Away he flies, up, up, and away. Now we've just got two left. Two little superheroes flying through the sky. Here comes the villain. Let's stop that guy. This superhero flies up, up, and away. And now we've got one. One little superhero flying through the sky. Here comes the villain. Let's stop that guy. Off she flies up, up, and away. And all of the superheroes have now saved the day. Good job, everybody. So, I think we have time for one more song, and we're going to let my song cue pick today's final super song. Ooh. All right, we're going to end with the alphabet. So, I'm going to test how super you are at the alphabet, because we're going to sing it two ways. The first time, we're going to sing it to the regular tune, which, if you didn't know, is actually the tune to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Then we're going to switch it up and we're going to sing it to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb instead. Are you up for the challenge? All right, first, first time, regular way. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, that was really nice. All right, now it's going to be a little harder because we're changing the tunes. Remember, it's Mary Had a Little Lamb. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Wow, good job. You are super at singing the ABCs. Now, if you can believe it or not, we are at the end of our superhero story time. So all that's left to do is to say goodbye. So our goodbye song, it's the same as our hello song. We're just gonna change one sign. So now instead of saluting hello, now we're going to wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me for my superhero story time today. Go forth and be super, and I will see you again soon.